Um, uh, yeah, did uh, Mr. Jesus voted Joe? You wanted to say something? Um, the new challenger I, I approaches. The, um, I just wanted to ask the gentleman named uh, Mr. Bro Joe if he's ever had a conversation with an atheist before. Uh, yeah, we've had numerous conversations with uh, atheists. Why do you ask? Um, well, me, me and you have actually spoken in the past, um, I think, about four times, and we had, um, I believe, pretty productive conversations. And uh, I heard that gentleman speaking, and uh, he said, um, you know, he's kind of trying to cast a general uh, assertion or like a blanket statement about atheists. And I don't really think that's how uh, we operate in a mental sort of sense. I think, you know, we're not really trying to attack Jesus or God or anything like that. I know you saw God. All right, dude, 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 listen to me. Stop right there. Okay. He's talking about Matt Dillahunty and what he said. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. When you pick a username, Jesus voted Joe, and then you pick the traditional Catholic Jesus here, you're not you're not you're not putting that out of sincerity of devotion and belief in Jesus, are you? Um well the reason I put that was because I believe Jesus is more of like a hipster or like well not hipster, hippie. Okay, like dude, 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 listen to me. So it's meant to be inflammatory. Okay. You, 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 you have two strikes now, okay? One more strike, and I'm not just going to kick you. I'm going to ban you, okay? Not only are you trolling, you're now lying to us, okay? So don't troll and don't lie. You are now lying. Okay, I apologize. Stop with, stop with this bullshit that you think Jesus was a hipster, because that's an outright lie. Because if you actually believe that and you're not lying, you're insane. Well, may maybe not hipster. Maybe the better word would be a pacifist. No, that that's that. That you, you listen. What's the? He said I came not to bring okay, peace, uh, but a sword. Okay, How all right, everybody, everybody, be quiet. Okay, I'm just gonna change your name to. Um, okay. Oh, so um, uh, why is it the Catholic Jesus? I thought that there was just um okay. one Jesus. I said the typical Catholic picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, now I changed your name to Voted Joe. Now, um, now, I, now I had a I had a Joe Biden moment here. I just lost my train of thought of what I was going to say to you. He was saying, "Bro, Joe mischaracterized atheists." Okay, yeah. Okay, so why don't you let's see let's see how fast you quickly start being deceptive or prevaricating. So, why are you an atheist? Um, well, I was actually raised, it's funny you said Catholic, because I was No, no, Catholic. stop, stop. I didn't ask you about your biography. I'm asking about right now, on this day, okay, March 21st, 2021, why today are you an atheist? Um, because of my experiences with the church and the lack of evidence I've seen for God. Okay. Now, first of all, the fact that some people who claim to be believe in God may have mistreated you, even if we say they kidnapped, tortured you, and killed you, it wouldn't follow from that that there's no God. Are we clear on that? Uh, I agree, yes. Okay, so what that, that first part is absolutely fallacious. Well, I would say maybe my reason for Christianity in particular. No, listen to me. You need to focus. Did you take your Adderall today? Focus. Listen to my words. Okay, I'm sure English is your first language. Your first line of reasoning why there's no God is entirely fallacious. Ah, well, then we can just um, use a second one then that I don't see. A, okay, uh, Let, no, no, you, sir, listen to me. You need to focus. Is it true, now that I've given you a response, that your first line of reasoning that God does not exist because some religious people may have mistreated you, it doesn't logically follow from that, that there's no God. So that that is fallacious, what you said there. Well, yes, of course, but you did ask me why I didn't believe in God. Okay, now, so your first line of reasoning, the first words out of your mouth were fallacious. Now we're going to go to the second part. You say that there's no evidence for God. Is that correct? Well, well, if I may say, you asked me why I don't believe in God. You didn't say why is there no God. So I gave you my personal um, reasoning. That's, why a I don't that, that's a distinction with no difference. Well, it's actually a gigantic difference. No, no, it is not a gigantic difference. Okay. Well, you well, you have fooled, li listen to me carefully. You, like all the other schmuck atheists all over the internet, have fooled yourself into believing that. Okay. Either you believe in God or you don't believe in God. Okay. 
at this moment. I don't, right. If you don't positively believe in God, then what you do believe by implication entails the falsity of God. You will then believe that facts do not necessitate referencing the necessity of God. And I will demonstrate it by asking you one simple question. Do you believe that it is necessary to reference God as the necessary precondition of facts? No, I do not. Good. Then your position entails the falsity of God, in spite of the fact that you're trying to characterize your position as being without a belief in God, that also entails that you're not denying God. So now we're clear. You believe that it's not necessary to reference God as the precondition of all facts. So that means that what you believe is that facts are independent of God. Are we clear? Yes, I would call myself a hard atheist. Good. So then you believe there is no God. Now, what is your second line of reasoning, that there is no creator God? Well, I would actually posit that it's impossible for God to exist because um, the concept of being omnipotent, omnibenevolent, uh, omnipresent, and uh, omniscient all in one being uh, is uh, logically impossible and coherent. It would be basically a frozen statue. It wouldn't be capable oh. of uh, doing anything. Okay. Are there, are there times that, that people can think something is not coherent when it is? Uh, sure. Okay. So then explain to me how these concepts are not co- – well, first, first of all, let me point out that that would only entail a specific type of God an omni-property God. But you see, you're an atheist. You do not believe that there is any ultimate creator God. So that does not exclude that there is a creator God who does not possess omni-properties. I wouldn't define that as a God. Okay. No, that would be defined as a God. God is defined in terms of minimalist definition. God is that which is ultimate and fundamental, the source of all possibility and impossibility and is a mind, okay? Now, whether or not that God possesses additional attributes is for a future discussion. But you don't believe that any God exists. You don't believe that an omni-property God exists, and you don't believe that a God who is ultimate and fundamental and eternal that doesn't possess omni-properties, you don't believe that exists either. And saying it's not a God of course it's a God, because what, what is, what is, you, you're just simply defining a God by a certain attribute set. Okay? I, think, I think we actually agree on that attribute property set, because... Good. No, sir. Listen to me carefully. Okay? God is that which is whatever is eternal, ultimate, absolute, unconditionally non-dependent, and the source and basis of all possibility and impossibility, and is a mind. Okay? Whether or not that has additional properties is for another discussion. So you do not believe that there's whatever is fundamental is personal. Whatever is fundamental, if it's personal, all right, then that's what we call God. And you don't believe that exists, right? Correct. Right. Now, what is your rationale then? Because appealing to the putative omni properties, it doesn't cut it in, in at least two ways, right? So before we get to even to that discussion, which is peripherally related, you need to resolve the issue that in order to say that God does not exist, you're going to have to tell me then what it is that is fundamental, that is ultimate, and is the source of all possibility and is impersonal. What is that? It is one of uh, God's attributes that he is uh, eternal. Okay. okay. Do you need me to repeat the question? Well, I, I'm, I'm trying to formulate. Do you problem. know, do you know what it is metaphysically that is fundamental to everything and is the source of all possibility and impossibility? Do you know what that is? Well, well I think if I had the answer to that question, I'd be a multimillionaire. Yeah, dude, 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 listen to me. Well, then, so you don't know that. So then you cannot rule out, then you cannot rule out, therefore, what is fundamental and the source of all possibility, that it could possess the attribute of personhood. Can you rule that out? Not with absolute certainty. 
No, I didn't ask you. I, I didn't ask you about your state of psychological confidence. I said, can you rule it out? It makes no difference to me what level of confidence you have. All I want to know is, can you rule that out? No, I cannot. Good. Then your atheism is without reason. Therefore, your atheism is irrational. Well, well I, I'm attempting to explain the uh, rationale behind it. Well, well I, l l listen to me. Either you're trolling, which I suspect you are. Listen. In order to say there is no God, you're saying that there is not something that is fundamental, that is personal, that is the source of all possibility. The only way that you could defend that is to show that what is fundamental and the source of all possibility is impersonal. Can you do that? Um, potentially. I would no, I don't want to know potentially. Either you can do it or not. Don't give me don't give me these half baked quasi answers potentially. I mean, can you imagine have you okay, do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. Have you ever been pulled over by a traffic officer? I've been pulled over twice. Good. Did they ever ask you for your driver's license? Yes, they did. And what did you say? The officer says, do you have a driver's license and registration? Do you look at him and say, potentially? I actually looked at him and said, no. Oh, so you, you, you drive without a license? Well, the first time I did, but the second time I didn't have my license because I lost it the first time. So if you're pulled over tomorrow and the cop says to you, do you have a driver's license? And, and he says, can you produce it? Do you answer, are you going to answer him potentially? Well, if I'm talking to a police officer, honestly, I might. Okay, you're a moron. Get out of here. You're wasting my time. <laughs> dude, dude, better go. Dude, better go equip his big floppy God, shoes. That's so, oh gosh, that's terrible. But I understand. Wait for it. Wait a minute. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. He graduated. He he graduated. He graduated magna cum laude from clown college. Okay. Oh, God. All right. And listen, listen, not to ridicule him. I mean, that's quite an achievement to graduate magna cum laude from clown college. But he also he also was a part of the fraternity of Tappa Keg of Beer. Okay. I love you. All right. And, and speaking of clowns, let's get back to the clown show of Shannon Q and her uh, romantic uh, buddy boy, Paul.